And you know what that means. That's right, it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And I probably should be wearing some sort of a gimmicky shirt right now or maybe doing some sort of an effect where I'm upside down at this point. But I can't really do that because that's not how I operate. As you guys know by now, I barely edit these videos to say the least. So that means that we're going to talk about 1985. I was four years old in 1985. Yeah, it's a, it's a minute ago. Either way, for 79 days, the Coca-Cola company came up with New Coke, and it was not the greatest success. Given the fact that 80s nostalgia is a big deal nowadays, especially in the lexicon of pop culture, they have recreated New Coke one more time to commemorate Stranger Things in 2019. And on May 23rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a website was launched at cokestore.com backslash 1985 where you can actually purchase regular Coke or Coca-Cola Zero Sugar with that same formula from 1985. Now, granted, all of this is gone now, completely gone, and I'm very behind on this video, but I was able to wrangle up this finally. So, yes, this is New Coke. Like on the back, it uh, does say, Enjoy this limited edition 1985 can in celebration of Stranger Things 3, season 3 of Stranger Things. This is not, this is definitely something I definitely wanted to uh, show you guys. Wanted to try it here on camera. The old Coke logo, the new Coke logo that we loved so much. Uh, some people did, some people didn't. I know a lot of people said this is a Coke that's very sweet. And the funny thing is, because this was given to me by somebody, I do not have access to any of the normal stuff on the back of the package. So I don't know exactly what's in this. So there could be anything in this. So we're going to go ahead and try it anyway and see what happens. Pop it open. It smells interesting. Actually, it doesn't smell anything at all. I'm gonna pour it in here. Got a little bit of a different coloration than Pepsi does, and Coke does, and Vago does, and all the regular cola variants that I drink on the regular. It's got a different variation than regular Coke does. A little bit, you can definitely tell. I wanna try, see what it tastes like. See, New Coke was disliked by fans of soda and fans of the brand of Coca-Cola because of the fact that it was way too sugary. Now, everybody knows I'm a Pepsi guy and proud of it, too. The thing about it is, is that when I had access to Coke beforehand, like many years ago, I don't do it anymore, but when I was working at the theater, I actually would add packets of sugar to Coke, and I would create like a taste like a Pepsi. I'd do it for myself. I'd do it for guests if they wanted it. But yeah, I think the reason why they don't like new Coke, the Coke fans, is because they're not used to the sweet, sweet nectar that is Pepsi. And that's exactly what new Coke tastes like. And that's the reason I enjoy it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got that right taste to it. It's got that sugary taste to it that you can't find in a Coke. If I wouldn't have been so young in 1985, I probably would have drank this. I don't remember drinking in 1985 at all. So, but yeah, stranger things have happened. We've done Surge on this network, and we've done Twinkies on this network, and we did Crystal Pepsi on this network. It made perfect sense. I know Twinkies doesn't make any sense with the other drinks, but still, it made perfect sense that New Coke would have ended up on Sip and Snack before too long, and it took a minute, but it finally happened. So yeah. Definitely recommend this. I know you can't get it anymore, but if you have a chance to pick some up and it's a feasible option, then go for it, especially if you're a Pepsi drinker because it's got that sugary taste that is missing from Coke. Like Coke still is a soda, don't get me wrong, but Pepsi definitely has the more sugary taste to it. I think that's the reason I like it more. But yeah, the only thing we're missing now is like we get like Orbits to come back or something like that, and like squeeze it. That'd be great, like Choco Bliss, things I used to have when I was a kid. So yeah, bring that stuff back. So yeah, bring it up. There we go. So that's going to be your video for today, and it'll, I guess, 
will it end the week of Sippin' Snacks here on this network? I guess you'll have to wait and find out, oh, won't you? If you uh, like what you're seeing on this network, feel free, shoot me an email, surowanddisney at gmail.com, especially if you have any ideas for the network. If you'd like to chat with me directly, you're more than welcome to uh, tweet me at Disney. So in the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all i got to say about that.